At 4 a.m. on a Wednesday, water pumps for the cooling system inside Three Mile Island's Unit 2 stop. The nuclear reactor automatically shuts down. The station emergency alarm was, was going on and on. As 27-year-old systems operator Tom Kaufman arrives for his 6.30 shift, pressure inside the reactor is rising. When I went into the control room, it was all business. There was no panic. There was no fear. But because of mechanical and human errors, a relief valve is left open, forcing out cooling water and causing the reactor core to overheat. And the temperature kept building up and building up to the point where about half of the fuel in the nuclear reactor got so hot that it melted. By late morning, small amounts of radioactive gases are detected off-site. At the Nuclear Regulatory Commission in suburban Washington, Harold Denton was monitoring the incident. Communication was very difficult, it's fair to say. Yet by evening, the core is cooling again. The reactor appears to be stabilizing, but more problems arise on Friday. Radiation levels were increasing throughout the plant. A radiation release occurs. Denton choppers to Three Mile Island with an NRC team to take charge. Please stay indoors with your windows closed. In nearby Middletown, shops and schools close. Pennsylvania Central Governor Dick Thornburg orders pregnant women and preschool-aged children within a five-mile radius to evacuate. He is only two, and you don't want to take a chance when they're this little. As fears increase, plant information is fragmented. Confusion, contradiction, and questions clouded the atmosphere like atomic particles. That night, Denton breaks the news. A partial meltdown has occurred. We are concerned, though, about the status of the fuel in the core. There's extensive fuel damage. On Saturday, there are new worries about the core containment vessel. We found out that there was a bubble of hydrogen in the vessel, and there was a lot of attention given to could it explode. Eventually, Denton's team concludes there's no danger of an explosion. So on Sunday, President Jimmy Carter tours the plant with Denton. After 21 days managing the crisis, Denton left. Tom Kaufman stayed with the plant 23 years and is now with the industry's main lobbying group. 32 years later, there's absolutely no medical or scientific evidence that shows that anyone outside the plant was harmed. Still, public confidence in nuclear power was shaken then, as it's being shaken now. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York.